I'm just going to do a quick video on these hoses. These are Hope hoses. Um, this one is a nylon, or they call it PTFE, uh, five millimeter hose. It's your kind of standard uh, hose that you get with the Hope stuff now. And there's an older one as well, which some people might still have. A lot of the older brakes, um, like the minis and the original M4 calipers, as well as the mono stuff as well, came with this, which is a six millimeter PTFE hose. As this one is six mil and the other one's five mil, it means that the ends and the connectors are not, you can't use them. Um, like they're not interchangeable. You have to buy specific ends for the six mil and specific ends for the five mil. Um, and the other hose that you might get is this, which is a braided hose with a metal case on the outside. So you basically still have the PTFE plastic inside, but then it's braided still on the outside. And these help with like durability, but it also means when you pull the brake lever and there's pressure going through this hose, it doesn't expand as much. Um, so it should kind of give you a little bit more bite, a little bit more power going to your caliper. Um, hopefully you can see on this one, it's been cut. So what you have to do on these in order to get any of the fittings on them, you have to cut the plastic. So this clear plastic cover, you just put a Stanley blade around there and rip an end off. Um, and that means you can get the fitting over the hose, otherwise you're going to struggle. So yeah, all the hoses are pretty much compatible, I believe, with all the brakes. So you could run a 6mm hose on a brand new set of, I don't know, Tech 3 V4s or something like that. Um, I don't think there's any other hoses that I've dealt with, but there might be stuff out there. But yeah, so we're just going to move on to the connectors for different hoses now. So for these two, so you've got a 5mm and a uh, braided hose, with well, the newer style braided hose. Um, there's basically, the connectors are pretty much all the same apart from the shroud. So we're going to show you what the shroud is. And we're going to pick one for the 5mm and one for the braided hose. So these are the two shrouds. And... A little bit hard for me to see because my camera's got a grid on it, but you should be able to see that there's two lines on one of them, and on the other shroud, it's only got one line. So, the difference for that means that the, um, the one with two lines that's going to fit over your braided hose, and the one with one line is just going to be for your standard uh, five millimeter hole. The difference is the diameter, this one's bigger for the braided hose. And also the way that this has been machined on the end. You've got like a, a full hex um, spanner slot there. Whereas on this one it's just kind of side to side. Two little cuts there. So yeah, that's the shrouds. For this one I'm going to choose the, the 5mm stuff. Because it's a little bit easier to work with. The braided hose, like I said, is a bit thicker. So it becomes a bit of a pain. So we're going to get our shroud with the one little line on there and that's going to slide over the hose there and the next thing you want to do is get this olive and you're going to slide that over the hose it can be a bit problematic the, the fit is quite tight obviously um, so that can be a bit troublesome you could heat them up and that will help expand it I'm just going to have a little look if we... so I'm just going to grab a flat end tool, a little screwdriver that we can use. There we go. So we've got a tiny little flat head there. And we'll try and get this over. So what you can do is just pry, pry this little olive open. It does have a slot right there. There's a little slot. Just try and get the flat end in there. Just try and open it up a little bit. And if you don't get any luck with that, then some sort of pliers that open outward would be pretty good. These are like a circlet pliers, but they push outwards. I'm just gonna. Do that ever so slightly because it will snap 
quite easily. And then turn it around and do the other end. And then you can do it just enough. But there's a little hole there and you can be, should be able to get your little flat end screwdriver in there. I'm just going to try and slide that over the hose. And once you've kind of got it started like that, you can try and push it down with this finger whilst prying that into the, into the little gap. There we go. And that's getting blurry. There we go. So that's actually on there. It's flush with the end of the hose. That shouldn't really cause a problem. Um, so now we're going to move on to this which is called an insert and it's barbed so there's kind of like a, a system where when you push it into the hose it kind of grips the hose if you find that you can push this into the hose really easily you might want to just cut your hose and use a fresh piece of hose because it might mean that internally it's a bit worn so the fitting can be a bit loose but with this one we're just going to push it by hand and see how far we can get not very far at all um, so then what you can do is kind of just push it against the desk. Try not to get a shadow in there. Yeah, so you could just push it on the desk. Um, you can put in a vise and tap that end on if you wanted to. I do have, have a special tool for it, so I'm just going to use that. So this is the tool that I use. Um, it's very inexpensive. You can buy them on eBay and it just allows you to basically alter things a bit better. There we go, and you can actually take this end out, pull that out and you turn it around and then it's got like a domed shape and it will fit onto the banjo connectors as well. Um, so we're just going to take our hose with the olive end. I'm just basically going to press this into that area there. Um, you might find that some of them just slip, you can just push them right in. I've not really had any trouble um, with those ones, but it kind of means that the hose is a little bit worn on the end So if you want to you could just Basically cut the hose and start with a fresh end for this to be inserted into Sometimes you can push them quite far in But this one's pretty much only going to there and it's stopping so I'm just going to use the tool just so I don't bend the hose and Basically just take a little bit of time with it and don't rush it and just clamp that in. Tighten that a little bit. And we're just gonna we're just gonna screw this in and it's gonna push the insert into the hose. You might find that the hose is kind of at an angle, so you might need to push down on it, keep things nice and straight, so it's gonna go in where we need it to go. Once that's done, I'll show you what it looks like. You're just going to butt it up to the olive. There we go. And do that. And then the end of your hose is going to look something like that. So, so you can see it's just butted up to the other bit. Um, bring your shroud forward. I'm going to take your M6 screw wherever that's rolled off to. And that's just going to. Oh, yeah, we need a little washer as well. So you get these little. These little copper washers. And um, they go over this little knoblet there. And then you get this. And that fits over. There's a hole under there. And that fits. On top of there, and you bring the shroud forward, and that's basically it. So then you're left with a connector like that, and all you have to do is put a eight mil on there, eight mil on there, and then tighten it, and you'll kind of feel the olive clamp onto there. So that's pretty much it. This is just a tiny piece of hose. I had left over so I'm not actually going to clamp that together because I'm not going to use it but yeah that's pretty much 
how it goes together. If you do have a banjo connector, it's exactly the same. It's just that this would be the actual uh, banjo connector. Rather than an M6 screw, it would just be a banjo connector. So yeah, they're pretty straightforward. Like I said, the braided hoses are it's a bit of a pain to work with, especially to get the olive onto them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. There was something else as well that I wanted to show you. Move this out of the way. So this is the connector. Just get a 5mm connector. And then you can see that there's quite a difference. So you've got your 5mm connector for the newer style hoses, and then your 6mm for the older style hoses. Um, but these are a little bit different internally. They just have a shroud. I don't know if they have different shrouds for uh, stainless braided hoses, because the hole there is quite big. They have a big chunky olive, which are quite happy to snap as well. I think just the age of them, maybe the metal just becomes brittle, the brass, over time. And then they have like a connector that's got the insert onto it. So you would have to press this whole uh, thing into the hose. So yeah, that's them. That's that. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about cutting hoses as well. Um, there are tools like this, which has a little blade. And you, this is a bit old and the blade's a bit cracked now. So it isn't working that great. But you just put the hose in there. And you get a nice uh, straight cut. But you don't really, you don't have to use a specialist kind of specific hose cutting tool. Um, you could probably get away with a pair of scissors as well. But obviously you want to get your cuts as straight as possible. Because if they're wonky then you're going to struggle to uh, get like the insert and that lined up properly. So yeah, I reckon a normal set of scissors will cut through this quite happily. Um, it's a little bit of the fibre there. Trim that off. But yeah, just as long as that doesn't go inside and block the hole, a bit of fibre. And yeah, scissors are fine. Um, Stanley blade as well. As you can see, another <laughs> blunt blade, but it will do the job. Yeah, it would work. It's very, very blunt. Doesn't even cut these rubber gloves. Um, and as for like when you've got this braided stuff, um, this isn't going to go through the metal. The scissors won't go through it either. Um, a good Stanley blade won't go through that either. So what I use is um, a set of these cutters, which are mainly used for outer uh, gear shifter cable housing, but they would quite easily um, cut through this uh, braided stainless steel um, and the other thing as well in order for you to get these ends if you look on both of these ends you can see that the plastic has been removed um, I find the best way of doing that is just to basically take a Stanley blade and just cut around like that and then put a line cut a line down there and then you just peel the plastic away and like I say these are a bit of my nemesis really because the metal starts fraying and then it becomes a pain to get anything on them um, but I think that's pretty much everything covered in terms of hoses um, can't really think of anything else that you would need to know so yeah, that's, that's that I guess.